ladies and gentlemen. Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to Boardwalk Hall at the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds in the heavyweight division between Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali. Mike Tyson's unpredictability belies his ring walk focus. He is ready for action. Muhammad Ali is coming down to the ring. And you can tell with that zip in his step that he plans on this one being a spectacular evening for him. Introducing first by Ray of Brooklyn. His adversary, fighting out of Louisville, the greatest of all time, Mohamed All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Ten rounds slated in the books tonight. Here's the first. Well, let's talk about what kind of a fight this could end up being because as far as we see it, both guys are really committed to the cause here. They want each other. Hey, look, the old times would say these guys are harder to miss than they are to hit. Committing to the body work now. He lands the right hand. Iron Mike lands the left. Good. Keep moving. Keep moving. That right hand over the top lands flush. Digging in with a left to the gut. Tyson's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Watch right hand to the head. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Teddy, many famous fighters, especially heavyweight champions, are known for their signature punch, like Rocky Marciano and his Suzy Q. But for Muhammad Ali, he's known for his signature shuffling of the feet, the Ali shuffle. Yes, he is. And, you know, it makes me think a little bit sort of like if you were going to buy a real fancy car. You know, when somebody wants to sell you something, wants you to believe in them, they give you something first, maybe a band or entertainment, and then they take you into the showroom. And, you know, now you're ready to see the car. Well, that's what that is. That's the band. That's the entertainment. And then the show is about to begin. And it's an unbelievable show with those quick hands and those combinations. Keep moving. The way these two are going at it early on, they're going to break the punch stat computer. Well, they're trying to break more than that. They're trying to break each other's will. Tyson's punch is far off the target. Oh, that uppercut got him badly. of round one. Mike Tyson's defense is going to need to shine when he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that cut we're seeing. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. Listen, I don't want to see you against the ropes. As soon as you feel the ropes, move away. Left, right, left, right. You need to double up your punches all night long. Double them up. Keep busy. Come on, champ. Start of a new round. Ali's making it look like the start of a fresh fighter. Remember, he was stunned in that last round, but Teddy, he looks fully recovered now. Well, it tells me two things. One, he has good genetics. He recovers fast, you know, physically. But it also tells me he had a good camp. He came here in great shape, and he's getting the benefit of that right now. Oh. 
Tyson's putting forth a great combination there. Blocks away that headshot. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Muhammad Ali. Unable to score with the hook. Muhammad Ali's putting forth a little boom, 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 a three-punch combination scoring. Little head knocking with that right hand. Halfway through this round. Stay away from those. Come on, man. Parries that punch away. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. A smart and resourceful uppercut by Muhammad Ali. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. Come on, now, keep your distance. Keep your distance. Watch the hook. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Muhammad Ali. And that's the end of round two. Let me paint this picture for you. You got to figure out a strategy, and your fighter's down to one eye. Well, I hope that he read some history books. Or he watched a movie named 300. You saw that movie, oh, didn't yeah. you? Great yep. movie about the Spartans where they were outnumbered, right, and they had to get the terrain right to fight the fight. They had to get into the mountains where the greater forces, the great army, could not be the great army. They could not get in there and battle where they could take advantage of their superior forces. That's what he's got to do. He's got to move the fight into a part, a portion of the ring where he will not be vulnerable on that side. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Effective work with that flush overhand right. They're sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. Hurt by a superb hook to the head. Now he ties up there. And he returns on that exchange. Tyson's getting back to basics. A good solid jab. I really like what he's doing here. I mean, if you were to pick any one piece of weaponry that you say aligns with what he is strategically as a fighter. It is the jab, and he's firing it off beautifully. And he's firing it off consistently all night at the right distance. He's getting full extension on that punch, and that's making him effective offensively and safe defensively. He's out of the other fighter's range. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Teddy, we have found on, out time moving. and time again in boxing that you are very much a product of where you come from. How is that? Wow, what a right hand he just got caught by, and he's looking to tie up. One, two, one, two. Keep your hands moving. Keep your hands moving. Big shot there. Ali is rocked. Muhammad Ali went down after eating that power punch. back up on his feet. What will he look like in the next few moments of this fight? That's the big question. Hey, 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 hey. Mike Tyson smacked up top. Relax, you're okay, you're okay. Keep your hands up. Keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands down. Let's keep them up. Listen, he's gonna come forward this round, all right? Keep that jam moving. Keep him away from you, all right? Keep this fight in the center of the ring, okay? Won that round, all right? You won that one, all right? So as we start round four, we reflect on the first three, looking at Teddy's scorecard. 
Ali's combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two Aspen. Oh, he gets hit by a left hand that he had no clue on. Oh! Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got callous here. One, two, three, four, five. Mike Tyson rises up after going down here today. Hits him in the mug with the right. To the head. That's my man. Keep fighting. He just missed that shot Finish up top. Finish 90 seconds to go in Finish. round number four. Nice strike after catching one by Muhammad Ali. Finish with the hook. Pulls the trigger right away with after getting tagged himself. He scored well after being hit himself. Muhammad Ali is feeling the effects now of that hook. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by Muhammad Ali. Or he scores well with the double jab. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Teddy, you gotta like this because he's using that jab the way you like him to. Especially when you're being aggressive. You walk in, you wanna walk in where the guy can't see you coming. That jab blinds your opponent. And that's the end of round four. Well, we've seen this before, a fighter with a bad cut, and sometimes a fighter that now has a much greater sense of urgency. Yeah, right now, if he was gambling, if he was in a casino, he's rolling the dice, he's hoping to come up with seven. All right, deep breath now, deep breath, relax, relax. So here we are, all wondering, can he survive the start of this round after the way we saw him go down in that last round? Well, it's up to his opponent, Liv. Now, his opponent gets a little careless and he rushes in a little bit too close. He can get a chance to grab those hands and tie him up, and then he can kill a little of the clock, survive. A little head hunting with the right. Still no defense out of him. Still no ability to stop this onslaught. He's taking serious damage. And you gotta worry about his future because the damage he's taking right now for tonight, okay, we understand that, but how is this gonna impact him for the future? That's where you're starting to get into a danger zone right now. Right to the head with that right. on the bad end of a big hook upstairs. See him trying to cut down that tree with a well-placed right hand. Ali's jab can do so much there. He used it well that time. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire him right back with one of his own. Good work by Muhammad Ali. It is unbelievable how this fight is being fought. Both guys unwilling to stop. One guy goes at it, the other guy meets him punch for punch. Well, you've heard it before. You've heard the term used one day at a time to deal with something very difficult. Well, this is one round at a time. That is the only way these fighters, these warriors, could deal with this kind of pace. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Look at that combination by Muhammad Ali. Coming to the end of round number five, last ten seconds. And that's the end of round five. You know, so many times we will advise guests of ours sitting ringside to not wear white. Now you know why. Look at these two bleeding all over the place. Now you would suggest they bring an umbrella. I mean, it is that bad.
Nice work on the outside. Nice work on the outside. Keep it up. It's over. He's tired. The start of the sixth round. Ali's coming out here at the start of this round, knowing that the first half of this fight clearly has him out way in front on the scorecards. Yeah, you know, sometimes guys don't do good when they're way out in front because they start letting up a little bit. They start taking things for granted. That is probably the only thing that can be an enemy of him right now. A good, clean old one-two by Mike Tyson. Tyson's damaged by a left hand. Hey, keep fighting. Just let's go. He got rocked. He just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit. Stop this flow. More head movement. Nice work. Nice work. Nice work. Ali's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You got to punch his away. Tyson's failure to get away from his opponent's right hand is really the difference in this fight. Yeah, it is. He continues to get hit with the same punch. Needs to slip to the left. Comes right back at him with a left hand. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Let's see some more head Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by Muhammad Ali. Ali's combination. Oh, that's a big right hand there. Move, move. He was stunned. Now he's in control. Oh, and there you go. Tyson goes down. Once again, Tyson goes down. But will he get up again? to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what Good you job. do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. As we start a new round, Teddy, this seems basically hopeless for him. He's been knocked down numerous times tonight. Well, you never know. I mean, you go back to the 1980 Olympics, and of course, you have that great call. Do you believe in miracles? But only thing, nobody was punching that hockey team in the face. And just grabbing on to his opponent. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Ali's ability to just get to his opponent before his opponent gets to him. Showcase there, his hand speed is very good. Yeah, it is, Joe. You know, it speaks to one of those old sayings that the trainers used to say, just get off first. That's what he's doing right now. He's getting off first. Ali's on the receiving end. Just in a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. There's no need to be on the inside, champ. Come on. The combination punching now scoring well by Mike Tyson. <laughs> Ali's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Took a shot, now he gives a left. And he's holding. Focus. Attaboy, keep swinging, baby. Pumps right back with a shot of his own. Stay on the outside. Move your head. Come on, baby, move your head. Turns 
fire with a left hand. And that's the end of round seven. I need you to focus. Keep your hands up. Keep working the jab, okay? Double up the jab and just keep moving. You okay? Good. I need you to use your feet, all right? Go around him. I don't want to see you slug it out with this guy, all right? Keep your range. Jab, jab, right, okay? Okay, you do. Teddy's scorecard through seven rounds. Ali's up on Teddy's scorecard, but we know what we've seen so far, this could change quickly. He's been hit. Yeah, he has a bad habit, and he's been hit for one reason. That bad habit of pulling back from punches. Every once in a while he does it, he gets away with it. But every once in a while he misjudges the distance and he gets nailed. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. A headshot block. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Able to dismiss it. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. He took a shot, now he gives a left. Getting him into the place he wants to, that's against the rope. Back and forth exchange. Tyson's making me wonder if his legs are really underneath him. Now he was stunned earlier in this fight, but the non-stop clinching, it's revealing a lot. Yeah, it is revealing a lot. He's not right. He's hurt a little bit. But he could turn it around for an opportunity for himself because he could grab inside and then let go and then all of a sudden sneak. Bang, 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 and then grab again. He can find it if he can think about that. Double jab by Muhammad Ali. Tyson's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. And we come to the end of the round. In between rounds here, Mike Tyson's eye is completely swollen shut. What would you be telling him? Well, this is going to sound a little tiny harsh, but guess what? This is a tough business. I tell him, you have two eyes, right? Use the good one. Take some chances now. You have to take a chance with this guy, right? You got that? You have to take a risk. Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. Good job on the two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Ali's ability to properly throw and land his combinations has been stunning. Teddy, why is he so successful? Because you just said it. He's putting them together. You know, one or two wouldn't land, but he's handcuffing the guy. And the first two punches, they set up the third and fourth. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. <laughs> Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Nice combination. Jab, uppercut to the head. Comes right back with some offense of his own.
end of the round is upon us, and we have a fighter in front of us who just looks gassed. He looks tired. Now, Teddy, what can he do to overcome that when this fight starts back up? Well, first of all, this is where you're searching to those corners that you're not forced to search. Kind of like when you were a kid and your this mother told you to clean your room and go into those little nooks and crannies where you never knew there was dirt. Now you got to start looking into nooks and crannies inside yourself. Places you didn't know were there before. You better find them. You better find them quick. They have given a lot tonight. Now one more opportunity to give a little more. The final round is upon us. Ali's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Ali's at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Good right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. And now he's acting like a fighter, coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Nice work, nice work. Bunches and bunches, combination up top. Hit the body, baby, body blow. That's it. Keep it going. Making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Very close fight. Tough to score some of those rounds, but they did. And for that, let's send it up to the ring. Muhammad Ali's work tonight was well rewarded. A unanimous decision win. Teddy, you saw it all along. It was easy, and he saw it all along. That's the thing. He saw the punches coming all night long. He was good defensively, and he was good with that left hand. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.